prendo, poi devo fare bollire l'acqua e faccio così e... No, it's just checking how to make this. It's like, it takes 14 minutes, it says. Well, that means is that then I just go make this, then I dry my hair, and then I can make the video. Fantastic, it's a perfect plan. So I'll see you in a minute. Hold on a second, have I just said see you in one minute? It's gonna take at least 14 minutes to make this, at least 30 minutes to dry my hair. Goodness gracious, I definitely have no future as a mathematician, have I? Or we could just say I am optimistic. Pasta. Such a popular food throughout the entire planet. Pasta can be enjoyed with a whole variety of recipes, most of which were invented here in Italy, together with an awful lot of shapes and types of pasta that were also invented here. So, recipes are Italian, sauces are Italian, pasta shapes and types are Italian, but was pasta actually invented in Italy? And if the answer is no, then who brought pasta to Italy where it became such a staple food of Italian cuisine? Now, before answering this question, I'd like to bring up another one, which is when did pasta become such a popular food in Italy? Should we imagine medieval Italian knights enjoying pasta for lunch, or should we even imagine the ancient Romans having pasta as a meal? Now, I am sure you've all heard of Marco Polo and his journeys to China. And you must have also heard the legend, or heard about the legend of Marco Polo, coming back from China, bringing the Chinese noodles into Italy, and thus uh, the uh, origins of pasta and the introduction of pasta to Italy would be uh, from China. Now, this is a myth, so let's debunk it, and, let's, and I'd like to show you why it is absolutely impossible for that to be the case. First of all, when did Marco Polo go? to China. Well, Marco Polo went to China during the Yuan Chao or the Yuan Dynasty, so we're talking about 1271. He writes about uh, the Chinese noodles, and that's, that's true, but what he says is that they looked very much like the Italian Lagana. Now, what is the Italian Lagana? The Italian Lagana, singular Laganum, was a a dish that was popular since the times of Rome, and we will get to that in a minute, but it's a dish that is rather similar to pasta, so this already proves that he knew about that, and he does compare the two and considers them to be similar. But more importantly to debunk this myth, we have to consider what happened in 1279. In 1279 we have a Genoese soldier, and please keep in mind that Genoa had one of the most important medieval seaports, and we have this soldier who was listing the contents of, a, of an inventory of his estates, and within the things he, in, again in 1279, he lists a basket of dried pasta. Now, it's true that Marco Polo writes his writings in 1271, but he will not come back to Italy from China until 1295 making it 100% sure that pasta was already in use in Italy before his journeys to China. Well, going back in time, we have another important mentioning of pasta, actual dried pasta and even fresh pasta. They used to be boiled in order to be cooked, so very similar to the modern sort of pasta that we have in mind when we say this word. And it's from 1154, from Sicily, of course, Norman Sicily at the time. So again, another proof that pasta was popular before the contact with the Chinese in medieval Italy. So you can imagine your medieval Italian knight with his shiny asymmetrical pauldron armor enjoying a nice dish of pasta. So here is a little di digression from the topic. We will go back to origins and how he entered Italy in a minute, but how was pasta consumed in medieval times? Now, as I said, we have to wait until the 14th and 15th century until pasta actually became popular throughout the entire uh, Italian peninsula, but we will have to wait until the 18th century to find pasta together with tomato sauce. As a matter of fact, the first mentioning of a tomato sauce is from dates from 1790. So how was pasta eaten before? Pasta was eaten dry, it was eaten with your fingers, and it was eaten plain. 
Of course, after the introduction of tomato sauce, pasta also required a fork. So, okay, Norman kings ate pasta, medieval people ate pasta, but when did it originate? Who introduced it to Italy? Well, we have a few theories. Let me show you the theories and let me tell you what I think would be the most probable. Well, first of all, we know mentionings of Arabs using pasta. We know the Sicilian towns as Palermo, but also Trabia near Termini Merese, where areas where pasta was produced. Now, considering that we have mentionings of Arabs talking about pasta since the 5th century, it is possible that between the 5th and the 9th century, pasta was introduced to the Italians through the Arabs. And then it was produced in Sicily. Why Sicily? Because Sicily was the granary, Rome's granary, per excellence. And we know that during Emperor's um, Augustus Empire, Pasta was not only produced in all the grains, the wheat was not on, only produced in Sicily, but they imported from Syria, from Spain, from Sardinia. But as we go back to Roman recipes, then this very concept of lagana or laganum, it's, well, it is probably a, an ancestor of pasta, but it's not exactly pasta. Why? Because Lagana, and if you're familiar with Italian cuisine, you will have recognized it, is the ancestor of lasagna, okay, or lasagne, as it is more correctly used in Italian as a plural, in modern Italian. Now, the Romans in the first century described lagana as being produced with fine sheets of wheat flour mixed with the juice of lettuce, or crushed lettuce juice. Now, the difference, though, as has to do with the way it was cooked. It was not boiled, but it was deep fried. Interestingly enough, though, in the 5th century, we begin to see or to have mentions of meat stuffed lagana, a lot closer to modern Italian lasagne. Did the Arabs introduce pasta to Italy? Should we consider lagana as being Roman and therefore pasta actually originated here? Well, it's difficult to say. Um, there is an Etruscan sort of uh, dish which was made of wheat flour to get mixed with water and boiled that sounds a lot like modern pasta. So we could say that perhaps it was an Etruscan thing and then spread or widespread through that. But another possibility is that the Greeks introduced pasta. We have to consider that the Greeks founded Naples and they brought what they called itrion, which was again wheat and flour. So the Arabs, the Etruscans, the Romans, the Greeks, difficult to say. Personally, I think that it might be Etruscan origin and perhaps then changed and evolved with the aid of the Arabs who were, were the ones who actually dried it for shipments and, and transportations. So it's a mix, in my opinion, but it's definitely something that all Italians love. All right then, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. Now, do you like pasta? Do you prefer pizza? What's your favorite kind of pasta? Please let me know in the comments below. And remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Ciao.